Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today is going to be my first update for my 2017 makeup use up or my first update for the products I want to use up in 2017. It's basically the same thing and I know I'm pretty late. I wanted to do these every three to four months and I think it's around four months, almost five. So I wanted to get a move on it and show you the products that I've been working on for the last few months. And I have used up a decent amount, but I am adding in some as well. And I made good progress on the ones I currently have. So let's get into it. So I actually decluttered two products in the last couple months. I decluttered the Butter London Shag Nail Polish. It was like a metallic orangey red color. I just wasn't wearing it all the time, so I decided to pass it on to a friend. And then I also decluttered the Burt's Bees Blush Basin Lipstick because it started to feel kind of gritty on my lips, which is very weird. Since it was a more natural product, I wanted to play it safe and just declutter it. So now onto the products that I finished up. I finished up the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Perfume, Prada Candy Dabber Perfume, the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer Mist, the Becca Moonstone Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlight, the Becca Under Eye Corrector Sample, the Maybelline Color Whisper and Rose of Attraction, the NYX Nude Pink Lip Liner, the H&M Eyeshadow and Fine China, the Maybelline Color Tattoo and Bad to the Bronze, the Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadow in Bikini Teeny and the Benefit Dandelion Shy Beam Deluxe Sample. I still have a decent amount of products to share with you, so first I'm going to start off with the nail polishes. So the first one that I have is Orly Rage. I recently did a project polish update, so I haven't really worn this one maybe once since that update. So it's currently at this line or around this line right here. It's a really pretty rose gold nail polish. I like to use this nail polish a lot when I don't know what to paint my nails or if I want to wear nail polish but I want it to be a little more professional. So I do like this nail polish and I'm going to try to work on finishing it. This is the Revlon Bohemian Nail Polish and I've used this a couple of times so I've made a little bit of progress since that second line right here. I really like this polish. This is a beautiful metallic blue color. It's like an aqua blue. So hopefully I can finish it, but the bottle does get wider on its way down, so it'll probably take a little while. And then I also have China Glaze, I See the Point. I made a little bit of progress on this. You can't even tell because it is very gloppy now. I might have to retire this one in a couple months. I do like this nail polish. I actually just painted my toes with it yesterday. It's a really pretty color. It really reminds me of Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue before they reformulated it and changed the color. I love that nail polish so much. But I am working on it, but it is getting pretty old. Next, I have my Lip Goddess 24 Karat Gold Lip Balm, and I believe this is in the scent Sweet Strawberry. So I hit pan on it in that intro video, and I have expanded the pan slightly, but I've been more working around the sides a little bit more. I really do like this lip balm. It does moisturize well, and sometimes I'll get a little fleck of the gold on my lips, which is really pretty. It has a red tint to it, but it doesn't really tint your lips. It's a very comfortable formula, and I think it's around $10 just because it does have the little gold bits in it. It's a good lip balm, but I would like to finish it by the end of the year. Next, I'm trying to finish up my Urban Decay Naked Palette, and I did recently post my Pan That Palette update for the month, so I'll link it in the cards up here somewhere. But I have made a little bit of progress since that update. Not a whole lot, but I have made a ton of progress since my intro video. So here's what my palette currently looks like. So I did actually crush up Creep and Gunmetal out of the palette because I decided not to use them anymore. I'm very sick of those colors and they didn't really work for me. Creep was just kind of a muted black and if I want like a black shadow liner, I want it to be a little bit more intense. And Gunmetal just did not suit my skin tone. I'm very pale and even when I put this all over my lid, it was like a bluish gray color but it looked very, very dark. So I just didn't love it and then I actually ended up finishing Toasted in the palette and Sidecar. And I made lots of progress on the others by hitting pan and using up most of them. So you'll have to check out my next Pan That Palette update to see how far I can get within the next couple weeks. But I'm very happy with how I'm doing and I'm hoping to finish this within the next couple months. Next I have my Benefit Coralista blush. I had hit pan on the blush prior to that intro video, but I had expanded the pan a little bit. But now I've expanded the pan a lot, so here's what it looks like. I have had to repress it a couple times. It is a really pretty color and I do like wearing it. I'm wearing it today on my cheeks. This is pretty much my everyday blush. I haven't really strayed from it that much this year. It does crumble a little bit when I am swatching it so I might have to repress it again. But it's a very, very light blush. It would probably honestly be a nice highlight for deeper skin tones if you want something a little bit more subtle. 
It's a very pretty blush and I'm hoping to have this done by the next update. This is in my drop 10 by summer project and hopefully it's done by summer but definitely I'm hoping it's done by the next update because I don't have a whole lot left. And finally for the products that I'm currently working on and still have are the ones that I've marked on cards. So the first one is this Benefit What's Up Cream Highlighter and that's all I have left. It's basically nothing. This will probably be gone honestly by tomorrow or the next day. It's a very pretty golden highlighter. Here's a swatch of it. I like to put this on my inner corner before I put on my inner corner eyeshadow and then I also like to put this underneath my foundation on the high points of my face. So I have this marked in the card but honestly it's probably pointless. So the first line is where I started and the second line where you can probably just see it is where I'm currently at. So I'm very happy with my progress. I might be sad when this is gone but this is the second one that I've gone through and I'm not the biggest fan of cream highlighters but it is gorgeous. If you do like cream highlighters it's definitely a good one. Next I have my Marc Jacobs highlighter in Out of the Blue so that's how much I have left. This is a really pretty royal blue eyeliner. It has a great formula and that's what a swatch of it looks like. I haven't used this a whole lot over the last couple of months as you could probably tell. So the lines are right here. So the first line is where I started and the second line is where I'm currently at. So barely any progress, but still some. I really need to use this more. I think I'm going to experiment with it more during the summer because it is a very bright color. It is gorgeous and has a great formula. So I would recommend it if you want to pick up a color like this, but I just haven't been using it all the time. So I need to get my button gear and start working on this. And then lastly for the products that I already had in this project was my Arden CN Gold Eyeliner. So that's all I have left. It's super tiny and it'll definitely be gone in the next couple weeks. So definitely buy my next Makeup Use Up update. It's a very pretty gold eyeliner. Here is a swatch of it right here. It's like an olivey gold, but it does have a gold sheen to it. It's very pretty. I like to wear this with Smog from the Naked palette. So here are my lines. It is currently around right here at that first line. I didn't mark it in my intro video because it was bigger than a note card. I wanted to use an index card instead of a big sheet of notebook paper because I just felt like it would be easier that way. So that's why you don't see a first line. I do like this eyeliner a lot but I am not the biggest fan of pencil eyeliner so I will be happy when it's gone. And now we're going to move on to the products that I'm including in this project. So more products. So I want to use up two of my liquid eyeliners that I have. These are my only two that I have. I want to finish this Ciate Fierce Flix liquid eyeliner. It is a pen style and here's what the tip looks like. I did really like this tip first and I actually included it in my current favorites video, my most recent current favorites. And I did like it at first but it's a really nice liner to make your actual line but if you want to make a wing, at least on this side it can be very hard and difficult to make that wing. But on this side, it's not as bad. I think it's just hard to use if you have hooded eyes to make wings with this because it is kind of a larger tip, as you can see there. But it is very black and it's a great formula. Here's what it looks like there. If this formula and the Kat Von D liquid eyeliner had a baby, it would be like my perfect pen liner. I actually prefer to use something with a brush tip, but the pens are very easy to use. So I do want to work on finishing that, but there's still a ton of product left in it. I also want to finish my NYC liquid eyeliner in black. They stopped selling NYC in the US so I can't really get this anymore unless I order off of Amazon which will probably be very expensive now because this is like a cult favorite. But mine is very old. It's honestly probably a year old. Shh. But I would like to finish it because it is starting to get very old. There is a swatch of it. It's very black and it dries down matte. So here's what the brush tip looks like. I'm going to miss this liner so much but I saw Crispy's video and she said the NYX black eyeliner that has a brush tip is like the exact same thing. So I want to finish both of my liquid eyeliners before I purchase that one and I'm hoping to get through this one pretty soon because it's starting to get old real quick. Next I'm putting in my deluxe samples of the Touch and Soul Duo. This is the Metallis Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. So this is the cream shadow and then this is the glitter. So here are swatches of the Touch and Soul Duo. So the first one is the cream by itself. 
This one is the cream with the glitter on top, and then this is the glitter separately. This is gorgeous, but I do have the Stila liquid eyeshadow that's really glittery and Kit and Karma, so I do want to use that. And I've had this one for a couple months, and it's getting somewhat close to being done. The cream, it's hard to tell. A little bit of blank space on the side, so hopefully I can finish this soon. I do love this. It does have a little bit of fallout, but it's still really pretty. And then this is the glitter, so I'm pretty close to finishing this one, if you can see there. I'm not trying to pour it all out, but it's gorgeous. It's like a champagne color, and I would be interested in picking one of these up in the future because they are just so glittery and pretty. I think about a month ago I got the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder from Influencer, so I have a big thing of powder. So I think it's time for me to use up this Maybelline Matte and Poreless Powder, and this is in Translucent. I've already hit pan on it, so I'm expecting to finish it by the next update because I tend to go through these every few months, probably like three to four months. This is a really nice powder, and I do like the Set and Smooth one as well. It's for like the Dewy and Smooth Foundation. But this one's nice as well. I can't really notice a major difference from it, but it does work nicely, and hopefully I can finish it up soon because I have a big thing of powder to get through. And then I want to finish up at least the wax in this Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani brow box. And that's how much wax I have left. I do prefer my e.l.f. brow gel because it just sets my brows in place a little bit better. And I have hit pan on the brow powder. I'm not going to use this darker one because it would just make me look like I have sharpie brows. But the lighter one is really nice in my brows. I like this a lot. I just want to get back to using my e.l.f. brow gel. So at least I'm going to try to focus on the wax this year. This might surprise you guys, but I do want to try to finish up my L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. So it's actually kind of hard to hit pan on. But here's what my pan looks like. It's not a whole lot, but it is somewhat there. It's a really pretty rose gold eyeshadow. Here is a swatch of it. It's very metallic and it looks beautiful on the lid. I've just been focusing on my Naked palette for so long and I've been missing this eyeshadow, so I'm hoping that putting it in this project will help me get more use out of it and hopefully finish it this year because I do have a MAC shadow that's very similar to this and probably other shadows in my stash that would probably dupe this. Not quite as well because this one's the better one of the ones that I have because it's so metallic and it works so nicely. But I would like to finish it because I'm not sure how old it is because it was a gift from a friend. And finally I have two lip products. The first one is a MAC lipstick and this is in Faux. That's how much I have left. This is actually in my Drop 10 by Summer project pan and I'm hoping to finish it by summer but I wanted to throw this in this project anyway. It's a really pretty nude color. I've been wearing this a lot in my videos especially to get more use out of it. That's what it looks like. This is a satin finish. It's just very hard for me to go through lip products, especially lipsticks like this. I actually go through liquid lipsticks faster than these regular stick lipsticks. It is really pretty, but I would like to finish it because I do have MAC Brave, which is very similar. And then finally, this is actually the lip product that I'm wearing on my lips today. This is the Stila Liquid Lipstick in Patina. And it's hard to tell the actual progress, but you can see through the tube a little bit with those lines right there. This is gorgeous. This is one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas and colors ever. So that's what a swatch of it looks like. But you can see it on my lips. This smells like Funfetti cake or Funfetti icing. Oh my god, it just smells so good. I would love to pick up more of these once I finish more lip products. This is such a nice formula. And I think it gets lost in the mix because of all the other liquid lipstick formulas that have come out. But this one's such a good one and I would want to try more colors. Hope you guys enjoyed this update. I'm really hoping to move out some more products in the next few months. And of course by the end of the year. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.